Right, the soldering iron's hot. Um, I've got the pieces ready to go, it's a little bit fiddly. You must copy everything. I've took the rubber boot off the old one onto the new one because of that. And there's a little piece of wire in there we're going to need as well. That sits in the slot. There's the shapes to the camera. That little bit slots in there. And that little piece of rubber there sits in that socket. Right, so that's not what we're doing at the moment, we're doing the soldering. So there's three posts and the wires are all different lengths. So that one goes back on that one. This one will need to join that one there. And that one will need to be hooked back on, excuse my fingers. That one will need to be hooked back on there like that. So once you've re-soldered the connections you can cut the excess off of the posts off. And I think what I'm going to do to hold that in place nice and tight while I do it is just wind that nut on. Cheap, nip it up the pliers. Right, okay, so. <clears throat> let's see if we can get them stuck. Always have plenty of solder reeled out. Beautiful, that's getting caught. Make sure you don't drop any solder down into your windings, so probably a better idea to have the alternator at least level so any blobs that fall off you can pick off. Right, let's just position just position that a bit better, pinch it back up, get that one soldered on. Got a little bit of flux down here, not always essential but sometimes it makes things uh, go better. That's it, job done. Last connection. See if we can persuade that to stay close. Lovely. A bit more flux. Of course, amazing the difference that makes. Just goes straight on. Okay, that's caught nicely. Right, so we may have to reposition them and tidy them up when they're um, a bit cooler, snip the excess bits off. Like that. Once again, make sure none of it goes into your uh, windings. We'll keep that one, yeah, it's cool already. That one nice and flat. <coughs> okay. We'll give the bolts a quick whiz up on the wheel. Put some goggles on. Here we go. Clean <coughs> the thread out as well. Watch your fingers all the time doing stuff like that. And dry I'm still looking over it. Probably should have gloves on as well. Be a good idea. There you go. Keep it all together, make job easier. One, two, three. So when we 
we do the next alternator, I will shorten the details ever so slightly, so you don't have to watch me wind bolts in. But for this demonstration, it's all useful. Up nicely, haven't got to be killed. Okay, that's that. All right, we're getting close now. One, two, three, four, six, right, that next piece is now this. That is a surge diode. Um, the auto electrical supplier said they never get asked for them, so we're going to leave that one on. There are the brushes, and there are the new ones. So, right, I've unwound the screws. They're still in place, so you can see the details of it coming apart. Little screw there you can stay with that one. You've got to remember the position of where they go back in. So there's the little semicircular bit that goes over the rubber base. So we put that down like that. That screw goes in the top left, my top left. That one. And that one. That little bracket that fell off goes there. This side. There's one of the brushes. One of the old ones. And there's one of the new ones. Brush is not particularly worn on that one. And once again, it's not something you have to replace every time you do a, an, every time your alternator fails. But for 60 pence, it's not worth messing around with. So that's that. That's that. Pull the other one out. Do, do, do. Right, I'll give that a quick squirt with the carburetor cleaner. Wash the rest of it out. cleaner evaporates nice and quickly so that should be alright in a few seconds by the time we put it back together. So that's that. One of them in there. Push the string spring down the hole. That one goes there. That one goes there. And the little screws back in the top. Okay, that's that one done. I wind them up with the uh, needle nose pliers off of camera. It's the other old one. And another new one. Surge diode back on. Oops. That one goes there, and that one goes there. That screw's missing because there's another terminal that goes onto that from the uh, voltage rectifier. Okay, so I wind them in with the pliers because it did take me about five minutes. And we'll come back and see. I've screwed them back in and there's the new brushes underneath a relatively clean cap it's springing in and out okay acceptable right so now we're going to replace that which we have to solder back onto the back of the commutator